Here we presents the top 5 best budget fitness trackers. Starting at number 5, Fitbit Versa 3. Fitbit's Versa lineup is, if anything, reliable. Now in its third iteration, the Fitbit Versa 3 ranks among the best smartwatches, tacking on useful software improvements and design tweaks to become a formidable Apple Watch SE rival, and a fitness tracker with obvious appeal. Fitbit Versa 3's standout upgrade is onboard GPS. Now, even when you leave your phone at home, the Versa can track your location during outdoor exercise. A curvier, larger display is welcome too. What's less appreciated is the $229 price tag, which is more expensive than the $199 Fitbit Versa 2, and disqualifies this model from our best cheap smartwatches rankings. The Fitbit Versa 3 sports a similar squircle shape as the previous two Versa models, but has slightly softer edges and swaps out the physical button of the Fitbit Versa 2 for an indented touch area with haptic feedback on its left side. I haven't tested a Fitbit with this design feature yet, so it took some getting used to, but I grew to favor it over a button. Another incremental design change arrived for the Versa 3's display. Its 336x336 pixel color touchscreen is a small improvement from the 300x300 pixel on the Versa 2. At 1.58 inches, it's also larger than the 1.39 inch screen on the Versa 2, and once again offers an always-on mode. I especially appreciated expanded real estate for viewing my mid-workout metrics. While I could argue the Fitbit Sense's large catalog of health capabilities is worth an additional $100, most people will find the Versa 3 offers everything they need out of a fitness-focused smartwatch. Would I upgrade from a Versa 2? Not necessarily, but the addition of active zone minutes, a higher resolution display, sleeker design, fast charging and, at last, GPS, makes the Versa 3 an excellent evolution. For more information and price, check out the product links in description. At number 4, Apple Watch Series 5. The Apple Watch Series 5 isn't super affordable, starting at $399, and in many ways it's nearly the same watch that last year's Apple Watch Series 4 was. But it's always on display delivers one of the key features I've been waiting for. I notice it a lot, because now I can glance at the time when I'm typing. Or casually watching TV or driving. No more weird arm twists. It's a feature that's long overdue. The Pebble, a Maz Fitbit, Fitbit Versa 2, Samsung Galaxy Watch and Google Wear OS have had always-on modes for years. Always-on doesn't improve battery life, in fact, it makes things a bit worse. But among smartwatches, the Apple Watch stands as the most feature-filled, well-performing wearable in existence. You still need an iPhone to use the Apple Watch, but if you have one, it's almost certainly your best bet. It's hard to find any other smartwatch that's as glanceable or as quick to respond to messages and calls. As most of the competition has disappeared, the Apple Watch's position as the best iOS watch keeps strengthening. If you want an Apple Watch for less, if you can find last year's Series 4 on sale, it should feel nearly the same apart from the always on screen. And the Series 3, at half the price, is well worth considering too. All that said, the new display is a killer feature. I've been wearing an aluminum Apple Watch Series 5, and I fell in love with the always-on edition. It's now weird to look at the older models without it. But it's not always what you might think it is. Apple's subtly improved watch adds a key overdue feature and improved software with this update, but it remains largely the same great smartwatch as last year. Halfway of my listed number 3, Fitbit Inspire HR. Until now, Fitbit's range of cheaper devices has been plentiful and often confusing for the average person looking to buy a basic fitness tracker. The company has slimmed down its budget range and brought it all under one roof with these two new affordable trackers. They try and achieve more than the devices listed above, but don't come with the same level of functionality as the Fitbit Charge 3. Note that the Fitbit Inspire HR has now been superseded by the Fitbit Inspire 2, which has a sleeker design and improved activity tracking features. The newer model is one of the best Fitbits you can buy today, if budget is your main concern then you might still prefer to opt for the Inspire HR. You can buy clips for the basic Fitbit Inspire that allow you to wear it on a belt, pocket or bra, rather than around your wrist, but these aren't compatible with the Fitbit Inspire HR, so you'll have to opt for the cheaper tracker to be able to use one. Considering the Fitbit Alta HR, a product with a similar spec to this tracker, 
launched in 2017 for $149.95 129 pounds 99 AU 249 dollars 95 this is quite an affordable fitness device arguably it's one of the best trackers from a price standpoint that the company has ever created Fitbit is generally more expensive than its competition though, so this isn't the most affordable tracker on the market for the functionality you'll be getting access to here. For more information and price, check out the product links in description. Coming in at number 2. Garmin Forerunner 45. The Garmin Forerunner 45 is one of the best running watches and its price bracket could be just a ticket if you're in the market for an entry-level GPS fitness tracker. The Garmin Forerunner 45 is an upgrade to the budget-friendly Forerunner 35, and this new model still offers simple, no-frills run tracking and a paired back watch. But it now comes with some of the training and wellness features we are used to seeing in watches much higher up the Forerunner food chain. There are actually two Forerunner 45 versions, the standard 45, which is a 42mm case, and the 45s with a slightly smaller 39mm case, suitable for those with smaller wrists. Even the 42mm case is much smaller than most other running watches though. Both fitness trackers feature a 1.04 inch, 208x208 color display. Clearly, you're not going to get Apple Watch resolution at this price, but the screen is clear and bright, and the colors, while limited, do help make it easier to read your stats and make the whole thing feel a bit cheerier. There's a lot here for the price tag, so could even serious runners save themselves some cash by opting for this lower priced option? We've put the Forerunner 45 through its paces to find out. If you want something closer to a smartwatch, the newer Garmin Venue SQ is well worth considering. It has a slim, stylish design, a good range of fitness tracking profiles with onboard GPS, and a pulse ox sensor. It's a little more expensive though. So if you don't need the frills then the Forerunner 45 is likely the better option. And number 1. Fitbit Versa 2. Okay, so maybe getting toned abs isn't that simple, but the Fitbit Versa 2 sports several new features compared to the original Versa, including Amazon's voice assistant and the premium subscription service aimed at making it easier for you to reach your goals. The Versa 2 has advanced sleep features too. That said, it's been replaced by Fitbit Versa 3 on our lists of the best fitness trackers and best smartwatches. The Versa 3 features built-in GPS, a brighter and sharper display, and up to 6 days of battery life. Making it one of the for sleep tracking. So where does that leave the Versa 2? Since you can find it for a discounted price, it's one of the best cheap smartwatches you can buy now. See our full Fitbit Versa 3 review below to know what to expect and Fitbit must be on to something because consumers don't seem to mind the squircle design of those company's smartwatches. The Versa 2 has the same rounded square look of its predecessor, with a few refinements. The bezel is smaller, Fitbit removed its name from the bottom bezel, so you see a bit more. It's about the same size, which means it should fit well on most wrists. With the Fitbit Versa 2, all of the things we liked about the original are better, a stylish and lightweight design, female health tracking, good battery life and insightful sleep tracking. I like that Spotify support has been added, but wish I could download songs using that service, as you can with other fitness-focused smartwatches. The addition of Alexa is a nice touch, but it doesn't work as smoothly as it should, and you'll need to look at the Versa 3, if you want GPS. I have included these product link in the description. You can check out this link for more information and latest price. Thank you for watching this video. Please hit the like button. Share with your friends. And be sure to subscribe.